Well, Pearl Harbor occurred, as you know, and this, it, uh, I was only 17 years old at the time. My mother was a widow, and so she had to sign uh, permission for me to go in at 17. We went to Fort Evans, and I was assigned to the Massachusetts National Guard, which had been federalized, I think, a year or two before. And then they reassigned me to the Third Battalion Headquarters Forward Scout. And I went through the rest of the war in that position. I was uh, missing in action for a few days because we were surrounded. And my, the group I was with, uh, except for one fellow, were all dead. And so we were behind the lines and it was cold as hell. And you can just picture that, and it, your legs in, in mud and, uh, you know, f freezing mud. That's basically what it was. And so I was uh, rescued, brought back. I had uh, frozen feet, and I had a piece of shell, a shell a fragment in my knee, my right knee. I was near a hospital in Birmingham for a couple of weeks. I, I recovered well enough to have a choice. I could stay in England on uh, a menial job or go back to my outfit, and, I, uh, and uh, I selected going back to my outfit. I felt I should be with the guys who I had served. A memorable uh, incident that I will probably never forget uh, was uh, our liberation of Mauthausen uh, concentration camp, which was uh, uh, outside of Linz, Austria. It's called the Hermann Goering Works. When we first found the you know, place, the, uh, the, the buildings, you know, we thought it was a pr prison of war camp. We soon realized that this was no prison of war camp, and they were greeting us. Uh, they wanted to hug us, you know. And uh, at first, as I mentioned before, we didn't know what we were looking at. We were young kids. This was a, a camp that, where people were being starved because, well, there was a work camp and they weren't being fed. And then the other part, section where they had the bodies laying there and, the, and uh, they, they just were in the open fields, stacks, like cords of wood. When I reflect back on uh, the nights I spent in foxholes and the shelling and the screaming and the, you know, the bombings and all that during, during, my, during the battles that I preceded that, you know, that was, uh, it's not the same. It's not, memories aren't the same but this was an incident that you just can't forget. When you're in the front lines, you, you just, you gotta keep moving or you gotta keep undercover or whatever. How do you describe being in a hole and being shot at? You're frightened. Uh, but when you go, when you've been going through it for a period of time, you sort of get used to it, but you still don't take chances. 